And you've seen that in order to deal with the large and small numbers in the natural sciences, we can use a special notation called the scientific notation. There's another way, uh, another tool that we can apply to deal with small and large numbers. And that's by making use of prefixes. So let me start by talking about the prefixes of small numbers, numbers smaller than one. The first prefix is this, uh, the deci, or d, which means one-tenth, or ten to the minus one. Centi, or c, means one-hundredth, or ten to the minus two. Milli, or m, means a thousandth, or ten to the minus three. Micro, or mu, the Greek letter mu, means one millionth, or ten to the minus six. Nano, or n, means one billionth, or ten to the minus nine. And pico, or p, means one trillionth, or ten to the minus twelve. Let's use these numbers in a couple of examples. This number here, 6.8 microliters, can be written as 6.8 times 10 to the minus 6 liters, because a micro means 10 to the minus 6. Uh, the next number, 0 0.0035 grams, can be rewritten as 3.5 times 10 to the minus 3, by moving over decimal point three places. 10 to the minus 3 means milli, and so this number is 3.5 milligrams. In the same way, 0.56 meters can be written as 56 times 10 to the minus 2 meters. And because 10 to the minus 2 means centi, this number can be written as 56 centimeters. 0 0.0067 liters can be rewritten as 6.7 times 10 to the minus 3 liters, and 10 to the minus 3 liters is a milliliter. So this is 6.7 milliliters. 0 0.013 meters squared. You can rewrite this as 1.3 times 10 to the minus 2 meters squared. Now I can rewrite this as follows. I can rewrite this as 1.3 times 10 to the minus 1 meter squared. 10 to the minus 1 meter squared. Because if you square 10 to the minus 1, you get 10 to the minus 2. And if you square a meter, you get meters squared. Now, 10 to the minus 1 meter equals a decimeter. So this is 1.3 decimeter squared. Let's now focus on the prefixes of large numbers, numbers larger than 1. Kilo, or K, means a thousand times, or 10 to the third. Mega, or capital M, means million, a million times, or 10 to the sixth. Giga, or capital G, means a billion times, or 10 to the 9. And finally, Terra is, uh, means 10 to the 12, or a trillion times. So let's use these prefixes in a couple of examples. This number here, 5.0 megaliter, means 5.0 times 10 to the 6 liters, because mega means 10 to the 6. 1,500 meters can be rewritten as 1.5 times 10 to the 3, 10 to the 3rd meters. 10 to the 3rd is a kilo, so this is 1.5 kilometers. 1.53 times 10 to the 5th meters can be rewritten as 153 times 10 to the 3rd meters. 10 to the 3rd meters is actually a, a kilometer. So this is 153 kilometers. Note that this number is not in scientific notation. Next, 5.2 times 10 to the 7 grams can be rewritten as 52 times 10 to the 6 grams by moving over a decimal point one position. 52 times 10 to the 6 can be rewritten as 52 megagrams because 10 to the 6 means a mega. This number is also not in scientific notation. Finally, 6.81 kilometer cube equals 6.81 times 10 to the third meters cubed, because a kilometer is 10 to the third meters. If you cube everything between parentheses, that means you have to cube 10 to the third, and you have to cube the meter. If you cube 10 to the third, you arrive at 10 to the ninth. So this number can be written as 
6.8 times 10 to the 9th meter cubed.